<laughs> Why not? Because. You said bed now, please. I want you to go to bed, please. Uh, you, need your, you need your you need your your sleep. You need my I need my beauty sleep? Yes, you need your beauty sleep. We're gonna be a beast in the morning. I'll be a beast I would rather have the beauty, I don't want the beast. Beauty and the beast. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, princess. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a Bitcoin called Princess Coin, right? Yes, sure. And we'll put you on it. <laughs> we're gonna call okay. it Princess okay, Coin. Dear. Okay, dear. I love you. I love you too, princess. Night night. Love you. Love you. All right. Bye. Oh my gosh. Well, my wife's going in for surgery. It's um, 8.55 on January or July 5th, 2021. My name is Kenneth Henry Matthew Farrow, and uh, my wife's going in for surgery. Um, Uh, I'm gaining too much weight, but I'm trying this BioComplete 3, BioComplete 3 for my stomach lining to repair the stomach. Anyhow, I got to get some exercise in. It smells like poop out here. Oh, smells like poop. Poop, poop, poop. Poop, poop, poop. I had a voice in my head talk to me, and it was telling me about uh, the Bible verse there. It was uh, 2 Samuel 12, 8. I gave you your master's house and your master's wives into your keeping and gave you the house of Israel and Judea. And if that was, that had been too little, also would have given you much more. Why have you despised the commandment of the Lord to do evil in his sight? You have killed your the, Hitt, the Hittite with the sword, you have taken his wife to be your wife, and have killed him with the sword of people of Ammon. Now therefore, the sword shall never depart from your house, because you have despised me, and have taken the wife of Ur the Hittite to be your wife. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will raise up adversity against you from your own house. I will take your wives before your eyes and give them to your neighbor. I know someone who does that all the time every day. <laughs> I'm going to get slapped. And, she, and he shall lie with your wives in the sight of the sun. For you did it secretly, but I do this thing before all Israel, before the sun. So David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said to David, The Lord has also has put away your sin. You shall not die. However, because you, by, by this deed, you had given great occasion for the enemies of the Lord to blaspheme the child also who is born, you shall surely die. The nation departed to his house, and the Lord struck the child that was right for to David, and it shall be, and it became ill. David therefore pleaded with God for the child, and David fasted and went in the way, and his son lay on the ground. 
to the elders and the heads arose and went in and raised up from the ground, but he would not, nor he would not eat food with them. On the seventh day it came to the pass, the child died, and the servants of David were afraid to tell him the child was dead. For they said, Indeed, while the child was alive, he spoke to him, and he would not heed our voice. How can we tell them the child is dead? He may do some harm. Then David saw the servants was whispering. They would see that the child was dead. Therefore David said to his servants, Is the child dead? And they said, He is dead. David arose from the ground, washed, and anointed himself, and changed his clothes, and went into the house of the Lord, and worshipped, and went into his own house, and went and requested that they set food before him, and he ate. Those be the words of the Lord in the Holy Bible. In reflection of the things that it's much like life, we receive so many great gifts from the Lord. We receive so many things that we don't even see with our own two eyes. Those words came to me in that verse and a vision in my head saying to me that about the temple, that the temple, the holy uh, temple mount, about how that when the temple was destroyed, that they uh, no longer could do anything until Jesus returned and which entrance that he'd come through. I was told about this in one of the previous videos that was on YouTube. And I saw on YouTube that uh, the Temple Mount. And that's what I felt like God was saying to me about these things. about the cornerstone and where it would be built again on the third temple. But it's already being built. It's already being built already. And it's uh, posted on the internet. I'll show it to you. I'm going to find it here for you guys. Here it is. <coughs> Here it is. So here's the third temple. Thank you. 
in Jerusalem. Another goal of the Mispa project is to help build the third temple on Mount Moraj in Jerusalem. Mora, Mora in Jerusalem. We are collect, currently collecting money in order to search for the tunnels under the Temple Mount in order to find the Golden Ark and the other important artifacts. When the time comes, we plan to assist in preparing the ashes of the red heifer used in purification purposes. At some point, we'll be collecting money for blueprints, building supplies, and preparing the site. We're also educating the public and raising their consciousness regarding on the controversial topic. Of course, there are many opinions about the third temple. We ask that you keep an open mind. And as a very touchy subject, some people feel the third temple will come down from the sky already built based on Rembrandt's teachings we count. The building of the temple is the 613 Mishra that the Jewish people must accomplish. Very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. So I'm going to sign off uh, from this. And I bid you guys a good night from uh, Armprior, Ontario, Canada. All is well.